In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday of the second week in Lent. In today's gospel, Jesus through the parable explains about the recognition of God's authority and reveals himself as the son of God, the rightful heir. A reading from the gospel according to St Matthew chapter 21 verses 33 to 43, 45 and 46. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to the tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another. and stoned another again he sent other slaves more than the first and they treated them in the same way finally he sent his son to them saying they will respect my son but when the tenants saw the son they said to themselves this is the heir come let us kill him and get in his inheritance So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to these tenants? They said to him, "He will put those wretches to a miserable death, and lease the vineyard to other tenants, who will give him the produce at the harvest time." Jesus said to them, "Have you never heard in the scriptures?" The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realized that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. Let's read the passage again and mull over what stood out for us. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to the tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another. and stoned another again he sent other slaves more than the first and they treated them in the same way finally he sent his son to them saying they will respect my son but when the tenants saw the son they said to themselves this is the heir come let us kill him and get in his inheritance So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to these tenants? They said to him, "He will put those wretches to a miserable death, and lease the vineyard to other tenants, who will give him the produce at the harvest time." Jesus said to them, "Have you never heard in the scriptures?" The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, 
the kingdom of god will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom when the chief priests and the pharisees heard his parables they realized that he was speaking about them they wanted to arrest him but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet the next step meditatio here we pick out some words or phrases or thoughts from the passage that stand out and reflect over it two points of reflection from this parable are do we accept jesus' authority in our lives or do we reject it and are we willing to establish the kingdom of god with jesus in hand in hand Next step oratio Now take that word phrase idea or thought that struck you and the reflection that came from them and speak to God Tell him about your feelings your emotions and be totally open final step contemplatio you have spoken to god now wait on god to speak to you god speaks to us even in the silence of our hearts
we pray to the Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of life, the gift of our family, the gift of our community, our friends, the surroundings. And we know, Lord, that this is the fruitful vineyard that you planted, that you want us to bloom, to be fruitful. We ask your pardon, Lord, for the times that we have rejected your doing in our lives, your grace in our lives. There are times when we have completely forgotten about you, Lord, about the miracles that you work out in our lives day in, day out. We ask you, Lord, to help us make you that cornerstone in our lives, the cornerstone which gives a direction and the very first foundation of our lives. It will always be you, Lord. And grant us the grace to recognize your contribution to our lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen.